Hi, this lesson focuses on dysphagia management process. For purpose of understanding, it has been classified into seven series, starting with assessment, management process, and a case study. Please note, the techniques in this video are to be practiced under a strict instruction of an occupational therapist or speech-language pathologist. Series 1. Saliva Management During this process, observe client awareness of saliva secretion and also observe client or ability to control saliva after production. To do this, ask the patient to passively collect saliva within the mouth. You can ask them to open their mouth for verification and, and observe for perceive voluntary saliva swallow. Play attention on the thyroid notch. Be sure that there is an elevation during the swallowing process. This the outcome of this quick check determines if the patient is actually aware actually of the saliva production. But if the outcome is negative, that the patient is not able to control the saliva or is not aware of the secretion, the following protocols are highly desirable. Saliva management techniques, otherwise known as non-invasive or conservative measures. These include activities such as blowing games, lip seal activities, facial expression with mirror, postural adjustment, and kissing games. Activity 1. Blowing games. Make sure the patient maintains a good sitting posture. Pillow or rose can be used as a supportive measure and the patient is asked to blow with an over-shaped mouth sequentially for at least 5 to 10 times. Encourage the patient participation during this process. Activity 2. Paper blowing. During this process, make sure that the patient maintains a proper sitting position with the trunk in a proper alignment with the shoulder. The elbow must rest on the, on the armrest. Spine must be in proper alignment with the body. And avoid forward flexion of the trunk during this process. As you, as you can see initially that this patient flex the, the neck during the process. That, that must be discouraged. The patient body must be in proper alignment. You can give additional support if there is need with a pillow or a roll. But never allow the patient to be in abnormal position or with the neck flex or trunk flex forward. As you can see now, this is the ideal positioning as well as the blowing mm. sequence. The patient needs to make a lot of effort by increasing the, increasing the pressure gradient from the mouth and blow with efficient speed. Activity 3. Sucking up hair. During this process, encourage patient to inspire hair using the mouth and pay attention to the chest elevation and allow patient to perform these tasks for 5 to 10 times. This process actively exercises the aromotor component as well as voluntary swallowing control. Activity 4. Water blowing. Or sucking. As you can see in this process, we start the initiation with saliva. As patients improve on the activities level, water, food, or other items can be initiated. But always try to start your process with saliva because it's more or less not injurious to the patient. 
with activity 5 leap seal techniques during this activity encourage patient to open their mouth far wide close it and protrude outwardly this has to be done for five to ten times or as recommended by your therapist Activity 6. Facial Expression Techniques A. Frowning Patient must maintain the frowning face for about 60 seconds. B. Smiling Observe the patient affect as well as the nasolabial fold. Activity 7. Kissing Games This can be done with a lipstick or a watercolor. During this process, place a paper in front of the patient. Apply your lipstick or watercolor marker on the lips of the patient. Passively encourage the patient to forward flex the trunk and stick or make a mark on the paper placed in front of And the make sure the patient apply maximum pressure from the lips on the paper. This activity can be done for about 10 times.